What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we have Teddy Bear's account tune-up, so we're gonna take a look and check out a few of his different servers on this account. Thank you so much for becoming a scary general, man. We are going absolutely crazy. I think we are over 80 members now, guys, so I cannot wait to do the members-only giveaway as well, as well as our other normal giveaways you'll probably see later today, so definitely tune in to later on. But right now, we have to jump in here for Teddy. So let's take a look, see what he has going on, see if we can give a little advice and some hero guidance moving forward. So looks like we do have a Garuda and a Penny. Really, really good heroes for right now. Garuda, that looks perfect. Exactly, exactly what you want for your gear setup, everything. I like the enables as well, and we got that legendary skin. So this one's really, really good. I, I, I love the Law of the West skin. I feel like it's much, much better. Penny, looks like we got that that uh, nice legendary skin as well. Enables look decent as well. And then we also have a perfect setup. Man, I, I can tell you've been watching our videos, Teddy. <laughs> I can tell because those two heroes, they are set up perfectly for what we want to see. We do have some really good support heroes as well. Um, the one note I will say just immediately, because I, I, I've been saying it on every single person's account, every single one of them, this Heart Watcher really needs to get leveled up. She needs to be up to at least 9 star. I mean, you got Assassin gear. Wow. <laughs> wow, you got Assassin gear. All right, not bad. Um, Yeah, honestly... I mean, since she doesn't do damage, I'd even just throw on, like, some 3-star. I'd, like, I'd do something like this instead, honestly. Just to give her more HP, that 12% extra HP is going to help. Her attacks, not that much going to help. So, this is what I feel like would be the best setup for her. Eh, you know, you could do speed HP. Honestly, I would consider putting uh, a fearless armor on her as well. Uh, just to give her that damage reduce for PvE. But definitely split the gear. HP HP stone that is fine but yeah I would um I would work on the rest of your food right here into making her nine star nine star makes such a difference for survivability damage boosting everything so bell rain perfectly good first light hero to go for um as you do level her up I would change from fearless armor over to Augustus magic ball since you do have it um, you really don't want her living per se. You want her having high attack and of course that speed and block helps as well. Speed healing effect, that's good for PvP. Again, I would consider, I would consider using split gear. Um, no, actually, you know what, I, 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 I just, I'd leave the gear as is for now. Enables, we will deal about in the future. And then you get a skin as well, that's good. Looks like your other support hero is Sigmund. That looks good for him. Split gear. Um, of course, change the stone when you get a chance. Honestly, taking you up past the C6 might have been a little bit of a mistake, but hey, it is what it is. And of course, you got that awesome looking Red Lotus Knight, which is the best skin I feel like to have. So, Looks like your first dark hero you chose for DA. Not sure that was a wise choice, personally, as you've seen with me lately kind of dissing her left and right. Not sure if that was a great choice to build. You know, I I would try to focus on getting some carry copies in there and um, getting her to 10 star and then swapping her out straight for a carry. DA just doesn't really have much of a fit in the meta right now. Carry, though, can be really, really strong. So it's up to you. I would probably say don't take don't take this uh, this DA past past nine or past 10 star i would um i would consider if you have the copies i don't know if you have one in the bag right now Ooh, you got another carry though that's good yeah i don't see another da unless i'm blind but if you do manage to get another copy of her i would consider making her 10 star and then getting two more copies of uh carry and just doing a straight swap carry at 10 star can be really strong even for pvp as well and then it looks like we've had some poor choices in light. <laughs> this Gurk. Oh, this Gurk hurts me. As much as I like Gurk when he has his uh, Doomsday Angel skin on. Oof. Making him 7 star is a big mistake. Honestly, at this point, I, it's really, really tough choice what to do with a hero. Especially in the light and dark faction when you're past 7 star. 
Honestly, your best bet is probably just take him to nine and feed him off. I mean, honestly, that's probably the best idea. Although that's so much light fodder. Ooh. Honestly, probably just leave Girk for, for the long haul. Just leave him there. Don't touch him. Get your Ada. Get your Ada up to 9-star. Get her to 10-star and start building her up because she will be probably one of your next best heroes to build. I would pick between Ada and Carrie um, to decide who you want to be. I'd pick Carrie if you plan on making DA 10-star and then swap Carrie copies out for the Amon Ra. If you want to go with the Ada route, then just focus all your food and everything on Ada. You could always use Augustus Magic Ball on Ada as well. You got her kind of full tank mode right now. But those those are definitely, definitely a couple of those, those options. So looks like you got a couple scary copies built in here. But yeah, nothing going on in Abyss besides food. Um, Shadow, you have a 9-star Death Sworn that I'm hoping you're using her for food, not for uh, not for that burn because that's, you already have a Sigmund. So hopefully he's going for food. You got some 9-stars building up. I mean, you need copies of everything right now. That's the big thing. Looks like you're you're being held up on this account, progress wise. Ooh, yeah. So my 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 goal for what you should do, at least my advice, is get this Heart Watcher, get Heart Watcher up to nine star with your Forest faction, get your get your DA up to ten star, but don't waste relics. Do not spend relics on her copies. What do you have anyway? You got two hundred sixty six. That's not bad. So what I would try to do is try to snag a DA copy, maybe from uh, from Brave Trial or something. Turn her into a ten star. Use feathers and grab copies of carry out. Build and then swap carry out, and then I would continue taking carry to E five as your next E five. I think that'll help you so much in PvP. It'll even help in PvE if you have trouble living. I feel like that would be a solid decision on this account. And then, of course, work on Belrain or Ada after that. Let's take a look at Sealand. What do you have going on? You have up to 14 done here. Let's just, let's just see what it looks like. Oh, that's why, that's why. The Phoenix is very, very weak. That needs to be your next, your next goal. You have the wolf maxed out, but the phoenix is extremely weak. Ooh, you really got to get that phoenix maxed out. That should be your first priority out of anything else. Let's just see though how this works out. We're going to we're going to throw these heroes in and we're going to just use the wolf for right now and see what happens. But this should be the order your lineup should be. You want an Emily in slot one, in my opinion, to see if she drops below 50% health to get a buff. But, ooh, oh, actually, you know what? I didn't check the enables on Penny either. Yeah, I think you're going to need some tankier Emilys, honestly, to progress further. But, yeah, let's just, let's do this really quickly just to see if maybe she gets lucky here. Maybe Penny gets super, super lucky. Uh, you don't have six star gear. Otherwise, I would I would throw on just the weapon, right? Yeah. So all ultimately for Sealand, you want Penny with just the weapon, and then you want regular six star gear in the other three places just to get more attack. But we'll we'll give this a few tries. It could it could end up working with some RNG, but you really do need a tankier lineup here. Yeah, it's just not going to be enough. You need to buy Penny like two more rounds. So you really need to get some tankier heroes here. You really, really need to build that tankiness up. Penny does seem to be doing a good job critting though. Oh, that actually worked out really good. Wow, that order might be better with Sigmund in slot one. But still, Penny just doesn't have enough time. She needs one more round of that shield to even have a chance to survive. If you can get one more round on her, that will be good. That wasn't too bad. Emily dropped below 50%, which is good. But again, we just have to buy more rounds for Penny. So that should also be your goal for anything moving forward in the Fortress faction. I'll change, the, oop, not that one. I'll change these back over just so we don't forget. Just so we don't forget. <laughs> I don't want to have you sitting there and wondering why you're losing in PvP. But that is what everything in Fortress should go for. Um, your next 9, 10 star should be an Emily. Build up an Emily, get her up there, um, put her in slot one so she can drop below 50% health, and then use her active round two. That'll also help tank a 
couple more hits. I mean, I, I know I just changed the enables, but the other thing you could try just to tank another hit is just another high level hero. Although Roy doesn't really do anything for us. Roy could potentially tank. Yeah, he tanked a couple extra hits there. So it might help out. But again, you, you're just, you need about two more rounds to be able to get the sea land done. As far as fours goes, I don't think you're going to make any progress. 12 sounds about right. But uh, we can throw in some heroes here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not going to work out. You just got to build up. Sealand is so much about your support heroes having one strong hero and then really, really good uh, follow-up heroes. But you need some tanky heroes, at least 9 and 10 stars, to take some hits for your team so that you just don't instantly die. This isn't going too bad, though, guys. This really isn't going too bad. Although, that uh, that boss active is going to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that boss active is going to take a ton of damage. But that healing, that healing from that aura that you get from your, uh, from your Olivia is very strong. Uh, you might be able to do this. Let's let's throw a couple attempts in here. This could actually happen. Gerda is not amazing, but Olivia is a really, really great support hero to go along. I can't wait to get our Olivia to E5 so that we can try her out in Sea Land with our double Garuda. See if we can get Sea Land 20, but yeah, that um that Olivia or if you hit Garuda with it, is really strong. That's that's looking pretty solid right there. Every time she gets hit, she'll at least heal somewhat to hopefully not proc. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she has enough to actually finish this off. She'll probably die right here. I think she's going to die from the dot. Yep, she's going to die from the dot. So. But that's the other option. So if you don't want to go... I mean, Fortress is definitely the better option. But if you do want to push in Forest, you're going to need some Rosa copies. So. Hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully it gives you a little guidance. Monthlies, looks like it, your monthlies just reset. Doing decent, but again, you're going to be held up. You you would save so many badges by having a stronger Heart Watcher. So definitely focus on the Heart Watcher. Uh, you already got the Tavern Quest done. That's really good. Awesome, awesome. But yep, just keep saving up resources. Keep saving those scrolls. Those Profit Orbs are going to be really good when Anniversary comes. So keep holding on to those. Looks like you've got a couple chests here as well. So that's good. That's really good. Um, but yeah, definitely I would say focus on getting, hopefully, hopefully, ooh, even, honestly, this right here, if this is a DA, if that's a DA, I would... I would make this DA 10 star immediately, buy some carry copies, and swap it for carry. That's just my opinion, but I feel like that'll be the best thing for this account right now. So I know, I know, Teddy Bear, you got some uh, some other accounts. We're gonna put those in probably separate videos. You have other servers on this account. Ooh, you got more Olivia copies too. That's not bad. And Penny, you got Rosa. Heart Watcher. Yeah, you got a decent stockpile building up. But yeah, if you have any other questions, definitely hit me up on Discord. Definitely hit me up in the members chat. And of course, just if you guys have not yet either, jump on our Discord. There's tons of people that are very, very helpful. Pretty good, pretty good amount of knowledge as well. So that's a positive too. But hopefully this helped you out, Teddy Bear. If you have any questions, hit me up. We'll probably do another one for you coming up in the next couple weeks for your other servers as well. And hopefully you guys might have learned something from this as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Definitely check in later today for the giveaway videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.